so I'm really excited. It's Vlogmas. I put up a post asking you guys if you wanted me to participate in Vlogmas. <laughs> and you said yes. And before, I only got eight votes so far, but I don't even care. That's enough. That's 100% yes. <laughs> I thought it'd be really fun. So join me this month on vlogging. I guess Vlogmas requires me to vlog every single day um, leading up to Christmas, I guess, or for the rest of December. Um, I guess it would be great for me to go for to the rest through the rest of December because we go to Disney World annually toward the end of December for the Christmas holiday. So I'm sure you want me to vlog that experience. But today, you guys, it's snowing, all right? So that's why I have my robe on. We're nice and cozy because it is a snow day. The kids are off from school, so everybody is downstairs. And I have taken on the task of trying to potty train my two-year-old. Now, this is the first time that I'm starting to potty train a two-year-old. So, two-year-old, oh my God. So, with my other two children, I actually started potty training when they were one. So, this is my first child that I'm potty training at two years old and um, he's a boy and most people know that boys are harder to potty train in general of course there are those random boys that are super easy but let's keep it real most of the time the boys tend to be harder so this is actually um, something I don't like doing <laughs> so you probably won't see like an ex explanation video on how to potty train because I don't think I'm the person to share that like I don't think even though this is my third child in a very short period of time that I have to potty train <laughs> I just don't think I'm really good at this but whatever he already had on pull-ups for a while so we're switching those pull-ups down to um, underwear and so far this morning that hasn't been that great. He's already taken a little bit of a short nap, not long enough. And I put him in pull-ups for the nap because we just started the potty training. And now I need to go take those pull-ups off and put him in some underwear. And hopefully he just doesn't like being wet. Right now, he doesn't care. He's like, wet, I don't care. Whatever. All right. Gonna use the potty? Potty time? My. Potty time though. Potty. Oh, potty time. It's potty time. Underwear. Do you like these? They're Paw Patrol. Yeah, Paw Patrol. Very nice. Yes. Say Paw Patrol. Let me see. Go ahead. Are you sitting on the potty? Yes? Okay, so I'm not a potty training expert, but I am a mom. This is my third child, like I said before, and I really don't like potty training. It's what I like the least. But um, since I have two other children who are young as well, who require car seats, um, I really don't want to feel overwhelmed and that's the goal right to not feel overwhelmed so with potty training right now I know that my youngest wants to be around his brothers and his brother and sister so he's not going to want to sit inside of the actual bathroom for a long period of time so the goal right now is to get him to sit on the potty as long as possible so that I can get him to actually pee in it a little bit and once he pees in it, then I can celebrate him and he can understand that that action is positive to put the urine in the potty. And we can go from there. Once he learns that and starts trying to stay dry, then I'm gonna move the potty over to its 
designated area, which is the bathroom, and make him go to the bathroom in the bathroom. But right now, the goal is literally just to get him to sit on the potty without complaining and without fighting for as long as possible. I'm being called. Hold on. Huh? Be snow. The snow? Yeah, it's still snowing. Yeah, and the season is winter. I was a little bit tricked this morning because it wasn't but snowing it's initially. Blue, it's blue, it's blue. And then I was like, why is school closed? This is such a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's actually snowing now. <laughs> um, so Jackson and I decided something really, really cool. Let's, I'm going to show you. I'll be right back. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So that's how you on snap. Oh my god, the kids really don't respect my Christmas efforts. So it's been a few hours, or he's currently running around with no underwear or pull up nothing on but a shirt. He does sit on the potty, but has he peed in it yet? No, ma'am. He has not. He has not peed in the potty yet. Do you think he's actually going to pee in it today? Is it going to happen today? Let me know in the comment section. You can be honest with me. You can say no, sweetheart. Wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's a better day. Or you can be hopeful and optimistic and say it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't know. But, in case you were wondering, what my kids were trying to show were these boards that I have. That I had them practicing today some of their practical life skills like tying, buckling, zipping. My dog wants to go out. And lacing. More popcorn! Share. Yummy! Okay, so I have escaped to the kitchen so that I can saute up some broccoli. I'm obsessed with broccoli. And I just wanted to talk real quick about potty training readiness before my little man who is getting potty trained comes running in here. <laughs> or pees on something. So I don't believe in potty training readiness. Uh, I know some people are going to be like, what? Go on. But, um... The reason is, okay, let me just go right back. So, um, I potty train my children when I know I'm ready to potty train them and be committed to the journey of helping them learn to not defecate on themselves anymore. <laughs> so, I more or less feel as if it's the parent's readiness more than the child because um, just naturally, one, we're animals at the end of the day, right? We're mammals. And it's just not customary to poop on yourself and carry it around at all or sit in it. 
the animals don't do that and we don't and we're very intelligent animals so we actually train our children with disposable diapers to defecate on themselves and peel themselves and actually get comfortable with that feeling of course there's some absorbency but especially if you use pull-ups it has less absorbency and they just get used to it so I feel like you have to actually potty train which is untrain them to stop defecating on themselves but you trained them in the first place and the reason why I believe this is because for one, back in the 1950s, 90% of American babies were potty trained by 18 months old. But now it's like people wait until three years old. So because it's more convenient now with our disposable diapers, we're like, hey, I don't even feel like dealing with this nonsense and I totally get it, so we wait. Um, also, I think about other countries where, you know, it might be a third world country and they don't have disposable diapers and they don't have access to things that we do and their babies, I'm sure, aren't just like pooping all over their moms as, as the moms are carrying them around. The babies like eliminate separately from their moms, like they actually give them uh, some sort of communication. It's called like elimination communication, uh, which I always wanted to do, but it really takes a lot of dedication. So kudos to any moms out there who have done that. But of course, third child, I've been a little lazy. Well, I don't want to say lazy, but I've just been um, a little bit more consumed because I have less time. So I waited until two. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to get committed to this <laughs> starting now. He has to wear underwear. <laughs> A child is here. <laughs> you found me! <laughs> you were playing hide and seek. You were playing hide and seek? With you. Alright. And I will fix you, Jackson, or Mommy, Annie, Daddy, Daddy, Frank, and I like. Aw, you're so loving. All right, you guys. Well, that's enough of that. Let me get to this this broccoli. It is now nightfall, and I'm telling you that this potty right here has not seen a drop of pee. Kelly, what did you say? Ori boo boo. Yeah. He has no underwear. Okay, potty training just got real. This is why I don't like potty training. Potty. Ori, oh my god, you boo booed on your shoes too? Yeah. Yeah, oh no, it's boo booing the potty, okay? Ori. <sighs> okay, you guys, so the kids are asleep, the house is a mess. <laughs> I still need to clean it up, but I just wanted to just relax for two seconds and drink a little bit of my night milk. It's it's like a cocoa. It's hemp milk, cacao, beans, um, coconut oil, coconut nectar, cinnamon, just a dash of nutmeg, and it's so delicious. Mm, I just like blend it all in the Vitamix, but anyway really good for you has a lot of magnesium helps you go to sleep all that great stuff but I just wanted to relax decompress because the potty training did not go well today um, or he did poop on the floor no poop or pee made it into the potty but again you know I'm ready to take on oh my god my dog wants to get out right now um, so I'm gonna let him out but anyway, um, yeah, it's a challenge, uh, but I'm willing to stick it through until he learns how to use the potty. So we are no longer defecating ourselves. We're no longer promoting that, right? We're no longer promoting that. The snow finally stopped, so they probably probably will have school tomorrow. Um, Ori will be with me. So you guys are going to be with me on another vlogmas day this is going to be really exciting i actually am excited about sharing my days with you leading up until christmas um and finally putting up the de christmas decoration i know everyone has up their decoration now but um i don't know my family's late all right maybe next year you guys maybe next year we'll be early like everyone else and start the day after halloween but we didn't even put the christmas tree up yet 
So that's going to happen, and I will share that with you guys. And so will Christmas shopping because I have not shopped for a thing. I want to purge the toys first. I want to get rid of so much stuff. I don't like having a lot of stuff, so I really enjoy getting rid of things. Maricon this whole entire situation before we add new stuff. So I hope to see you in another vlogmas and that you join me on these mommy adventures and i will see you later and wish me good luck on this pie training seriously it is the absolute worst for me in parenting but anyway i'm talking too much this vlog is so long goodbye good night